ఓం శ్రీ మంచునాథాయ నమ ఓం శ్రీ ధన్వంతరి నమ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమింగ్ అవర్ రినౌన్ గెట్ స్పీకర్ అండ్ పార్టిసిపెంట్ ఫర్ డే త్రీ డే ఫోర్ వెబినార్ ఆన్ సంసిద్ది ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఏ నేషనల్ వెబినార్ ఆన్ సెరబ్రల్ పాలసీ టుడే వీ విల్ బి త్రోయింగ్ లైట్స్ ఆన్ వామాలజీ ఇన్ సెరబ్రల్ పాలసీ అసెస్మెంట్ స్కిల్స్ ఇన్ ఎర్లీ డిటెక్షన్ ఇన్వెస్టిగేషన్ అండ్ కేస్ సిరీస్ ఆన్ సెరబ్రల్ పాలసీ ఫర్ దిస్ వీ హ్యావ్ రినౌన్ నేషనల్ అండ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్పీకర్స్ టు డెలివర్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ టుడే Our lead speaker for today is Dr. N. Shanmugam sir, who will deliver talk on vomology in cerebral palsy and Dr. Sanjay T. sir, who will be speaking about assessment scale and early detection and intervention in cerebral palsy. Uh, our uh, other eminent speakers are Dr. Sharash Chandra sir, Dr. Reena Kulkarni ma'am, Dr. Sri Lakshmi and Dr. Alisha. So on behalf of the department, I wholeheartedly welcome all the resource person and the delegates to the session. Our first presenter for today's session is lead speaker. Dr. N. Shanmugam, who will throw light on homology in cerebral palsy. It's our pleasure and honor to have you here today for this session. Good afternoon, all. Dr. N. Shanmugam, sir, is a chief mentor and Varman Subtle Science Researcher, Tirumular Varmology Institute, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. He is the professor and head, Department of Tamil, Sri Ramakrishna Mission Vidyalaya College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. Vetasati Medical Varmology or Vetasati Marma Chikitsa was conceptualized and designed by Dr. N. Shanmugam. He has learned and practiced this science since 1978. He has learned this science from more than 75 traditional masters under Gurukula method. He has researched on more than 120 Varman manuscripts. Sir has trained 5000 plus Ayush doctors in Varman therapy. He is a member, expert group of Marma Chikitsa, CCRAS, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India. Sir is also a member of Varman and Bone Setting Subcommittee member, Central Council for Research in Siddha, Ministry of Ayush. Sir is a woman trainer by the Indian Medicine and Homeopathy Department, Department of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Tamil Nadu, to train 800 Ayush medical officers working in Tamil Nadu government hospitals and primary health centers. Sir was invited by Defense Institute of Physiology and Allied Science, Unit of Defense Research and Development Organization to conduct research on how Varman therapy can assist soldiers in high altitude and low oxygen conditions. Sir was invited by Sports Ayurveda Cell, Department of ISM, TAME, Government of Kerala to train Ayurvedic doctors in Varman therapy for sports injury. Sir has served as a resource person in Varman for reorientation training programs in government and Siddha Medical Colleges of Chennai and Tirunelveli. We are lucky to have you, sir, as a speaker today. Over to you, sir, Dr. Shanmugam. Good afternoon, one and all. First, I convey my thanks to organize this program and give you a chance to share my ideas with you. Veda Sati Medical Varmology. The word Varmam already you all know the word Varma. Veda Sati is one of the new vocabulary for many of you Ayurvedic doctors. The cerebral palsy you know more than me. I am a professor of Tamil. Out of my interest, I learned this art like science since 1978. So what is the meaning of Varmam and Marmam? The Varmam in Tamil, Marmam in Sanskrit and Malayalam. Both vocabularies are giving the same meaning. The semantically, semantical level, semantic level, it is same. Not only that, the functional level also the same. What is the meaning of varmam and marma? Which gives the meaning of energy, energy flow. Varmam is very, very latest vocabulary in Tamil. The same what the Sanskrit people or the Malayalam people pronounce the marma. The marma is also mentioned, also recorded in Tamil literature in the early Tamil, early Sangam age also. 
So Marman is the oldest vocabulary. The Varman is a 17th century vocabulary. Both are giving the same meaning. So you don't confuse the Varman is other than Marma or Marma is other than Varma. Both are same. But in the Tamil culture, we get more available manuscripts. That's why the Varman is very popular in the Tamil soil. That's all. The Varman is not just an oral tradition. Many people before 2003, even in Tamil Nadu, even our uh, Siddha doctors don't know how to use the Varman point for treatment purpose because that is a separate text. Each and every Gurukula has a particular text. In that way, a particular text says you can treat a particular Varmam in the this this manner. So it is not a oral tradition. Lot of literary background also in the Varmam field. Elaborate theories. Not only theory, even the practical also available. My research findings, the Varmam, that means not a vocabulary, the meaning of Varmam, which is traced since 5000 BC in Tolhapia. I don't explain that type of uh, historical background because you uh, allotted only 25 minutes for me. More than 120 different titles of Varma manuscripts available even today. That, that is paper manuscript and palm leaf manuscript, different types of manuscripts. Each manus manuscript recorded the traditional knowledge, not only the traditional knowledge, each master has recorded their own experience in the manuscripts. All the 120 manuscripts I collect around 30,000 verses. 30,000 verses even today available. In that 30,000 verses, you can uh, find out what is the reason for this disease, the cause of the disease. For example, the cerebral palsy, the Varmam text mentioned, a particular nerve by name Puli Narambu. Puli Narambu is moves the behind or bottom of the uterus and move up to the to breast and neck and uh, go to reach our brain. Suppose a girl get a damage or slip on ground or unknowingly get a hit on the Puli Narambu that girl get your baby, the baby get some defected baby, that is special kids, I think so. The recorded already more than more than 500 years ago, the text mentioned like this. So you cause of the disease, how to handle the babies, everything is mentioned in that uh, text, not a single text. All the 120 different manuscripts, different titles of a text, if you go through the text, you will get each and every point. This institute collect, collate and collect all the manuscripts and reconstruct the treatment methodology, discuss with our ancestors, our masters, then only we take all the treatment protocol for treatment purpose in the year 2003. Next. You collect all the manuscripts, the text based on Mooladhara. You know the Mooladhara in between the anus and the reproductive organ, which is called as Mooladhara. Some text starts from the Mooladhara. Another set of text starts from navel, umbilicus. Yet another text starts from heart base text. Then the fourth one is the brain base 
text. The fifth one is heart and brain based text. All the text, if you collect all the text and decoded the text and the divisions, which is come under these five heads. Next one. The Veda Sati Varma. The word Veda Sati, which is coined by the fifth century, Saint Thirumula in Tamil. He came from North India in the time of fifth century in Tamil Nadu. In that time, his name is Thirumula. The Tamil people called him as Thirumula, Siddha Thirumula, the Saint Thirumula. The Thirumula mentioned this Veda Sati. Veda Sati is an energy form. The energy form filled with the universe, not only the universe, the energy form is entered into the human body, not only human body, all the living beings, which is the fundamental energy responsible for the proper function of human body, mind and life force. Life force means jiva. The fundamental energy junctions are called as Veda Sakti Parmampai. Thirumula, Saint Thirumula mentioned in his text, there are one crore Varmam points, one crore Veda Sakti junction in our body. The Thirumula 300, the 3000 poems mentioned, in which mention, there are one crore Varmam points. After that, the 12th century text of one of the Varmam, which name type Will we say ultra? Will we say it means the sensory energy? The text deals with sensory and motor energy, in which the text says there are 8,000 Varma points. Kumbhi Agastya, the Rishi Agastya mentioned 251 Varma points. Then it reduced 188, 108 Varma points. The Varman points fit with the energy center is called as Varman or Veda center. The energy always being like this the spinning condition, oscillating condition. And the energy, when the energy is in a particular place, particular point which is called as skull. For example, in between the point, which is called as tiller the column. Tiller the column, the suffix with column. The solar flux is which is called as near the suffix with column. Whenever you put the varmam, it is spinning energy. The energy always spin into the particular place. Whenever you Energy oscillating in the point, point. These two, the energy goes in the jumping manner, moving. Types of energies are there. Next one. The Veda Sati is regulates the Vahada Pita Sletma. The Veda is the Vahada. So, where the Sakti Varma energy is regulated, it controls the Vata Pitta Slaitama. According to Varma, or Marma study says, each and every Varma point has three units the Vata Pitta Slaitama units. If the Vata Pitta Slaitama units Proper function in a particular Varman point, our body gets hell and the Veda Sati energy regulates the Varman points. Next one. The Veda Sati is Vata. Vata plus Veda Sati energy is responsible for development of organ in the physical body, in the fetus, in the womb. When a baby comes up, the Vada and the Veda Sati. It develops the organ, the internal organ and the external organ in their heart. 
Veda Shakti and the Pitta energy responsible for the function of the organs. Veda Shakti and the Sletma responsible for protection of the organ and its function. Next one. So all the Varman points connect with Vata, Pitta and the Sletma. If you want to enhance or regulate the Vata energy, you first you find out the Vata Varma and give you a proper application on the Vata. For example, this is called as Saramuduchu according to Varmam text. The Saramuduchu is located on C7, wherever the C7 and the thoracic one meeting point on the neck region, which is called as Saramuduchu, which is the point of Vata plus Veda Shakti energy. If you give a proper application on the particular Saramuduchu, the C7T1 meeting point, if you give a proper application below the neck, all our organs, internal and external organs, get energized. Next one. Likewise, the uh, Pitta, Pitta and uh, Sleitumam, Pitta, Pitta and Vedasati Varmam, Sleitumam and Vedasati Varmam, uh, you can. How you can uh, study in the Varmam subject. Next one. The Veda Shakti regulates the Panchabhutas. You know the Panchabhutas. Next slide. The Akash. The Akash Buddha is very important. The Akash Buddha is regulate other four Buddhas in human body. Other four Buddhas. The brain, nervous system and subtle Nadi system. In Ayurveda also there are the Tasa Nadis. In Siddha system also Tasa Nadis. But in the Veda Sakti Varmam, that study has 20 different types of subtle Nadis. That is why the subtle Nadi systems are so controlled by Akashpoda. Your Ayurveda text also says the Nadis and the nerves is the Akashpoda particles. The improper function of the brain leads to CP-like conditions. So, if you want to treat or want to avoid the CP child, first you can regulate the Agash Puda, the brain for the mother and body, uh, mother and father. Not only that, now we are meeting many types of uh, CP child. We should enhance the Akash Puta in the baby's body. Next. There are two Varman points which is full of Akash Puta. If you give a proper application on these two Varman points, the first one is Tilar the Kala. You listen here. It is a Tamil text. The first one is Tilar the Kala. Tilar the Kala, 100% Sanskrit name. In those days, there is no discrimination between the languages. Till, till means, what is that uh, seed? Uh, the yield, sesame seed. Till artha, artha, the half part of sesame seed, that like a point is located in between the two eyebrows and meeting points of uh, nose, which is called the tilatha. The tilatha kala is the where the Shakti Varman point it will in the Akash Poda filled with the point. The next one is Chavikuti Kala. It is a Dravidian vocabulary. That is another one vocabulary. This is a 100% Dravidian vocabulary. Chavi means ear. Below the roof. Next, uh, next you can see the picture. Yes, this is the meeting point of eyebrow and nose, which is called as Til Artha Gala. Til Artha. Til Artha Kala. The Tilarda Kala is the Akash Buddha center, not only the Akash Buddha center, it generates the magnetic force also. Madam, please you remind the time also. Next. The Chavikuti column is behind the earlobe. You can touch the Chavikuti column and give you a rotation. That rotation enhances the Akash Buddha and uh, stabilizes the brain cells and everything. Next. Next, the Vayu Buddha also the important in the Varmam study. Vayu Buddha regulate the proper functioning of the body. Deficit of Vayu Buddha creates the motor disorders. You know what are the motor disorders. Next one. 
the Veda Shakti Varmam point for regulating the Vayu Goda, there are two important Varmam points. One is Andakala, another one is Vilank Varma. The Andakala is located in between the anus and the reproductive organ, which is the perineum, called as perineum commonly. Muladhara, wherever the Muladhara is located, which is called as Andakala. You know the Sanskrit name, Anda, Anda means the egg. There is a round shape, energy is there. You give a proper application on the under column, immediately the under column relax the body's spastic conditions. The spastic baby, suppose you meet the spastic baby like CP condition, you give a small pressure on here. Within two or three minutes, the baby's hands and the four limbs get relaxed. You can see. The next one is Vilankuvarma which is located on the small bit, wherever the collarbone or the clavicle bone meet on the shoulder, which is called Vilangvarma. You give me a proper rotation, three rotation inside and three rotation outside. Immediately the pulse oximeter comes up. We did this practice in the DRDO for our Indian government, the high altitude hypoxia condition. How can we manage? So you can apply this Varmam point. You put a uh, pulse oximeter, the finger, and give you application. Within a second, the pulse oximeter comes up to the saturation condition. Next. The project Vatsalya Babam, the Ari Foundation conducted for the special children needs. The 2016 we conducted more than four uh, major meetings. These are the meetings number up to 1,935 children benefited through this Vatsalya Bhava program. We used these techniques for the Vatsalya Bhava. All the special kids, we teach the techniques. First, we screening up the babies by doctors, Siddha doctors, Ayurveda doctor, allopathic doctor, homeopathy doctor, naturopathy doctor, and physiotherapist. All the fields of our medical fields, doctors involved in this Vatsalya problem and teach the particular point for the particular baby to the baby's father or mother, give you a training and everything in the free of cost. We got a lot of results. Even today, we can manage this type of special children, not only the special children, CP children, especially the CP, CP children. Every year, we meet near about 700 cerebral palsy babies in our center. Next. These are the spastic cerebral palsy vermum points. There are eight Varmam points mentioned here. The Kondekoli is listen here, the Panchabhuta. If you want to regulate all the Panchabhuta, you can give you a Kondekoli Varma. Agashpuda, Thilantakala. Agashpuda and the mind, Chavikutikala. Muduchinala, the four, four Muduchus. It regulates, if you give you a proper application, the Vada, Pitta, Sletuma will regulate. Kauli column. Suppose a baby, the CP baby, get fits condition, epilepsy condition, you can give the application. The brain, lungs, and the upper limb also enhanced by this verma. The Comberi column, it is on the tibia bone, leg, under column, and the Vilangu verma. Next one. You can see all the uh, all the application in our YouTube channels, Thirumular Vermology Institute YouTube channels. Here I don't explain the uh, demonstration because the time is very limited. So Kondaikoli, it lies on the vertex of the head. If you give a proper application on Kondaikoli, it enhances 10 passages of the baby's body. The two eyes, to ears, to nostrils, mouth, anus, and the urinary passage. The tenth one, these are the nine passages, common passages. Another one passages mentioned here, the Til Arthakala is a tenth passages.
that is why if you give a kondaikolli varmam in a proper application the crown of the head or the vertex of the head the 10 passages also get energized next one the meeting of the eyebrow and the nose which is called as tilarda golem you give a proper application on tilarda golem the tilarda golem gives energy to awake up awareness not only the awareness condition the ahash puda get uh, normalized next one the chavikuti column also the ahash puda it is a it is located behind the ear lobe there is a small pit which is called as ahash center if you enhance one baby's uh, brain or nervous system or uh, subtle nadi system you have to apply this in a proper application, the Agash Puta units get energized. Not only that, it energizes the Antakarnas, Mana, Siddha, Buddhi, Ahankara. The four Antakarnas also connect with this point. It is not a oral tradition. Everything is already recorded by our ancestors. What I uh, say is here, everything is already recorded. I get the recorded materials from my masters, not only uh, written records, the practical experience also I got from my masters, great masters. Next one. This is the location, the four Muduchu four, the four junctions. There are a lot of Muduchu junctions are in our body, the subtle naughty functions, the physical naughty function. These four is Saramuduchu is the meeting point of um, C7 and the thoracic 1. The Tunnel Muduchu is meeting point of thoracic 8 and 9. The Pasa Muduchu is lies on the um, lumbar region. The thoracic 12 and L1 meeting point. The Kumbhaka Muduchu is lies on the sacrum region. If you give a proper application, all the babies, all the CP babies get a better results. Next one. This is Kauli column, the web space in between the uh, thumb and index finger. You give you a proper application. You can uh, see the application in our video uh, clippings in our Thirumura Varmology Institute website. You give you a proper application. I will show here. You give three times. Definitely it will stop or reduce the episodes of epilepsy conditions. Next one. The Kumbiri column. On the tibia bone, the Kumbiri column, the subtle nadi, get three rotation on the particular spot. It is the eight fingers above the angle and the inner side of the leg, the tibia bone. Inside the tibia bone, you give you a pressure. According to the text, the Idahala and the Pinkala nadi takes three circle in that particular place. Then the Idahala nadi moves up to the left cerebellum then pingala nadi dominate the right cerebellum when you give that these two application definitely the cp child get a better results next one this under column already i explained the under column which is located in between the anus and uh, genital organ you give you a small don't touch the vermum point by your uh, tips finger tip of the finger the middle of the three finger, you give the under column and give you a pressure towards upward. Then the Vilanguvarmam, which is very effective for oxygen input, three rotation inside and three rotation outside. This is the Vilanguvarmam. For example, the flaccid, the Vilanguvarmam, next one, say flaccid cerebral palsy, you uh, add the Kondai's Pinkanadi column. Pinkanadi column is controlling the, not only the neck control, the Pinkanadi column, wherever the skull end on the backside, occiput region, from where one finger above the occiput pit, one finger above the skull, which is called the Pinkanadi column, you give you a mild, touch and move lateral movement that gives you a better result for the flaccid cerebral palsy. Neck control get proper result. Not only that, all the flaccid muscles get your proper uh, conditions. The Pinkanadi location is there. 
the CP with the epilepsy condition, the Kondaikoli is the ground of the head. First you apply the Kondaikoli, then you go for the Gauli column on hand. Three times you give your pump here. First you give the right hand and the left hand. Definitely it will stop the epileptic condition on the spot. Next one. Thank you for everyone to give you a chance for uh, me to share these ideas with you. If you um, want to raise any questions, you will raise a question. If possible, I will, if you give me a time, I will share, uh, spend with uh, more time with you. Otherwise, I will send the answer through my mail IDs or our websites. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It was all new idea for us about the cerebral palsy, the points, homology in cerebral palsy. Thank you for your valuable time, sir. The, uh, can we take up the discussion, sir? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the session is now open for discussion. Sir, we have a question by Maruma Chikitsa. Can we cure cerebral palsy? Not 100%. For example, the speech disorder, you will get 90% results. Otherwise, the spastic child, definitely you will get 70% results. Uh, uh, along with your medicine, Ayurveda medicine or Siddha medicine or whatever medicine the baby already taking, along with their medicine, definitely 80% the baby get uh, better results. Many, many babies come on wheelchair after applying this Varman point for six months, not immediately. Six months, definitely the baby walk with... Uh, hold the mother's hand or father's hand. That type of results we already be seen. Yes. So the next question is, what is your experience on cerebral palsy with quadriplegia? Quadriplegia, there are some, so many conditions. Suppose a stiffness in quadriplegia, definitely they will get 70% results. Some babies are not getting a proper results. The brain condition is not uh, sufficient growth. We, uh, we don't uh, bring the babies in a proper results. Oh, so we have a question. How long the treatment should be continued? Minimum six months. Minimum six months. That is why we taught these techniques to the parents of the child. They, they do the application every day two times, morning and evening. Those types of babies get proper results. Why do we have to do one in our, in our treatment center, we are uh, practicing weekly twice for the treatment for CP child. Every day two times, if suppose a parent or a doctor uh, administrate for the uh, babies, definitely it will come fast result. So next question is, are there any medicine that are applied externally prior to stimulation? Yes, yes, yes. many medicines. There are, there are a special medicine in the Varmam text mentioned. For example, Tanu Mantradi, Tanu Mantradi, Kayatrimeni, you heard about the name, Kayatrimeni, Tanu Mantradi, we can apply. We can apply if needed. Otherwise, uh, we don't give any oil. You can see the, for example, the under column in between the seventh one, if you give the spastic child, immediately the hands and the uh, legs will get relaxed. So if you if you are a doctor, you can apply the oil, then you can uh, apply this vermum points also. Definitely get faster results and better results also. Sir, so what in is the time in, that in, in, in our treatment center, we uh, sit along with the allopathic doctor, Ayurveda doctor, weekly once, all those type, all the fields, doctors sit in a room and diagnose your baby, then only we can fix the points. What about doctor? Next question. What is the time gap required to perform two different marma? Which one? For example, the Vata, Pitta, Salaitma, there are two, uh, three times are there. 
if you admitted a baby in your clinic you can three to four times six hours once you can give the application verbum application sir the next question is if you have a high risk baby then can we apply this therapy to prevent high risk means what do you mean dr sarita can you please elaborate the question hello what what, what is your question once again you say hi it was just mentioned as high risk baby can we apply this to prevent high risk baby i don't know the meaning my question is like um, risk factors are already there uh, at the time of birth baby has undergone like birth asphyxia and all yes 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 for our our allopathic doctor practice practice this type of uh, birth asphyxia inside the what is that uh, theater within two within two minutes they give the application and uh, make the baby for a uh, crying to prevent that condition for uh, for that type of baby you can use this worm sir is there any special program for getting involved in project vatsalya baba yes yes well, uh, last week we conducted a program webinar program for vatsalya baba the 6th the, the day of what is that cerebral palsy day in future future we will we will conduct the vatsalya baba all over india we have a plan now we the, that condition what is that covid 19 we stopped all the actions after that we will start again the vatsalya baba throughout our india so the next question is can we try this treatment for children about 10 years of age yes yes after birth within 2 seconds from that time to we can apply the vermum point but you must know the anatomy of the human body our allopathic doctor child specialist sees our vice president of this uh, treatment uh, set of uh, thermolar vermology therapy center she used the vermum point within 2 seconds the baby when the baby born within 2 seconds they apply the vermum point not only the child specialist many bdos learned this techniques from our institute they also use the uh, vermum application for their um, patients uh, babies delivery for example hep palsy suppose some uh, hep palsy condition our allopathic doctor also nowadays use this vermum points not this vermum points that is another set of vermum points sir if the children are brought earlier are the results better observed or varma chikitsa hold same on all the age group what about not audible sir is it audible now yes 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 if children are brought earlier are better results observed Yes, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Yes, uh, the babies come in earlier stage. The vermis is a give better results. Yes. For how many seconds or minutes, marma chikitsa is applied? All these, all these eight and three eleven points. Within five minutes, the treatment has worked. within 5 minutes first you know the place location exact location you don't make the baby not only baby even the uh, patients don't make them to feel pain a very very mild application because this energy the veda shakti is a energy the energy is when you touch mild touch on the particular place immediately it get active what finger you have to fix on the particular vermum point that is separate root for example konde koli you keep on three keep three fingers on the vermum point why then the kauli column you touch by the three fingers the vermum text says this vermum this much this finger measurement with three fingers with here each and every vermum has its own width own depth own length first you came to understand that 
everything then only you can uh, fix the fingers otherwise you don't fix the fingers or don't somebody's i saw many videos even today on the youtube you don't fix on the elbow on any varmam point it creates a damage the if this this is a veda shakti varmam you keep a mild touch and don't make a pain to the patient or the baby then you give your application it will take if you if you understand the eight points or 11 points you spend only 5 minutes suppose if you want to apply oil it will take another 10 or 15 minutes that's all so we have other question in children as they are underdeveloped how can we pinpoint marma first we examine the first there are some Uh, diagnostic methods are here the ear lobes the length of ear lobe length, length of nose length of finger measurement everything is we designed after that then we give you what is that uh, small test on the uh, soul part then we decide how much this baby is need for verba then we can decide the four mudichu is common for all all condition not only cp even down syndrome what is that uh, epilepsy condition all the babies you can apply the four mudichu other mudichu other systems for dilanda kalam chavikuti kalam that is the baby's need for agash bodha suppose a baby need for agai bodha we can give the applications sir we have a query like it would be have been good if you have shared some videos can you just please share the video sir yes videos ah oh, okay video sir ana ella video me one by one run panna solraanga this is contextually which is located on the vertex of the head the pulp part of the three fingers this is the width width of the condecoli uh, varmam the pulp part of the three fingers you keep on condecoli and give you a lateral movement another one hand by the left hand you hold the head of the baby and give you a moment whenever you stop the condecoli you start from the center of the vertex whenever you move the left and right three times end of the application your hands should be keep on the middle part center part of the particular varma point this is the application you don't give you more pressure the pulp part touch on the scalp and give you a mild application this application is called as asaital asaital is a movement there are 12 different applications are there so each varma point need a particular application here is a asaital application next next point is a tiller the column tiller the column is located in between the two eyebrows and the nose making point the you keep the middle finger pulp of the middle finger touch on the tiller the column and give you a rotation three rotation towards right side and three rotation towards left side end of the rotation you fix the finger and lift it upward i mentions there are the the till artha till artha the sashimen seeds 50% of sashimen speeds space is there but according to varmam text says it is off finger measurement energy spread on the particular place that is why you keep on this finger only 
This is enhanced the Akash Puda, not only the Akash Puda, Sushmana Nadi also enhanced. Sushmana Nadi get energized. When the Sushmana Nadi get energized, the magnetic energy generate from that by this body. That is why the Telardha column is very important for the person. The Chavikuti column is located behind the ear lobe. There is a small pit. You keep the middle finger, pulp of the middle finger, and give you a rotation, three rotation. So both side you have to simultaneously three rotation back side towards back side three rotation forward it is chavi kuti column and lift it up when you lift the chavi kuti column there is so many nerves physical bodies and subtle bodies also mentioned here that increasing the blood flow to our brain organs. Next. This is the four muduchos. The application is very important. You keep. See, this is the muducho. Start one. This is the first muducho that is called the sar muducho. The meeting point of C7 and the thoracic one. When the baby lying like this, first you take a measurement below the scapula and meet the spine or vertebral column. This is called as tunnel muduchu, the second one. The third one, the meeting point of L, lumbar one and the thoracic 12. I find out the place which is called as Pasa Muduchu. The last one is Kumbaha Muduchu. These are the four locations. This video is meant for the special children's babies, our fathers and mothers, parents. So this is the application. You don't touch by the tip of the fingers. The middle three, middle part of the middle three finger, and keep the saramuduchu and the three rotation right right side and the three rotation on the left side towards the left side then you drag your fingers up to the next junction in between the saramuduchu and the tunnel muduchu there are so many junctions are there so you go don't give you more pressure on this track because there is a lung related points also there. Then you finish, after finishing the second muduchu, you drag your fingers up to the third muduchu. Right side first three rotation and left side three rotation. Then you come, drag up to the sacrum. The sacrum is enhanced the muscle power and bone and everything. All the Prithiviputas, all the Prithiviputas related organs enhanced by this sacrum application. So this, this video you will get from our websites, I think so. So next one, the Cowley column. Cowley column is lies in between the first web space in our hand. The index finger bone and the this is the you don't touch by single finger you keep the pulp part of the three fingers keep like this and give you a mild pressure don't make the boy uh, feel pain likewise you can uh, apply on the other hand socks
Next one is uh, Comberi column. It is on the tibia bone, inside the tibia bone. The eight finger measurement from the angle joint, inner side angle joint. This is the point. Here also you keep, this is the exact point for that boy. The measurement not by your hand, your fingers. The boys or the patient's finger measurement is the point. Three fingers, the pulp part of the three fingers, touch on the Comberi column, give you a mild pressure, in and out. Press and release. Press and release three times. That's all. Next one. This is under column. Middle part of the middle three finger. Now you don't get the link. Now we go. First example, under column. Picture. You show the picture. The middle part of the middle three finger, you keep on the under column. You don't touch by the tip of the fingers. The middle part of the middle three finger, it is a very soft place. So you give me a touch and three times press inside and release, which is the application. You will get the application in the video in, the, in our Thirumular websites. Next one. Then Vilanguvarvam, which is located on the Small pits, yes. The collar bone and the shoulder joint meeting point. This is the Velanguvarma. Now I indicate the location, not the application. The collar bone, the shoulder joint, which is called as the Velanguvarma. You keep the middle part of the middle three finger on both sides of the Velanguvarma. First three rotation. towards medial side, three rotation. Then, three rotation in the outside. When you do the outside rotation, you little bit increase your speed. Yes, this much speed you have to need. Enough. You will get all the video clippings in our Veda Shakti, uh, sorry. The pin canadi, This is the occiput point, which is called as pedaric column. One finger above the skull, wherever the skull ends, you take one finger measurement above the occiput, that point, you keep three fingers, pulp of the three fingers, give you a small application. Lateral movement. which is called as pin canadi. Enough. So these are the application, very mild application. First you find out the exact location. Then what fingers you have to keep on the particular Burma point, that is second. Third one, what are the application you have to do touch on the There is a big theory. For example, that is called as Kai Baham and Sai Baham. Kai means finger. What finger you have to fix on the particular place? Sai Baham means for this condition, what are the application you have to apply? For example, Asaital. Asaital means sideways movement or up and downward movement. Yendal is lifting method. So, Tattal is a tapping method. Likewise, 12 different types of methods you can apply on a single Veda Sakti Varmam point. You can apply all the 12 different application method on a single Varmam point. That is the uniqueness of our 
var mı onu sayımız. Thank you. Sir, it was very informative session and uh, we have learned a very new technique in adapting to RCT patients. Thanks for accepting our invitation, sir. Thank you. Thank it's a pleasure and honor to have you in our session today. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.